Can you have faith for God to heal you by means of medical science, a doctor, or through medication? Hi, welcome to today's little lesson. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a while uh, since we've been recording these little lessons, but when we stopped a few months ago, I was answering questions that some of our viewers had written into us about divine healing. And uh, it's a, you know, interesting topic. Bible's full of information about divine healing. There are lots of people healed by God in the Bible. Lots of promises by God for divine healing. And uh, we welcome any questions. You know, I don't have it all figured out here, but I'll tell you what little bit I know. And if it helps you, that's great. And, you know, so many of the questions we receive are just from sincere folks who have a humble, gracious spirit. And that comes through in their and their questions, and that makes it easier for us to try to address those questions when they're done in a spirit of, of love and humility. So hopefully we're reflecting that same spirit back here. So anyways, the question is today, can I have faith for God to heal me by means of a doctor or through, you know, medical science, through surgery, through, you know, a medication and so forth? In other words, you know, can I have faith for God to do that if I'm not going directly to God to receive my healing. Because, you know, that's, let's face it, in the Bible, uh, that's the majority, if not all, of the kinds of healing that we read about. People that prayed or had faith or, or in some cases, they didn't have any faith. You know, they were just healed directly by God or by Jesus during his earthly ministry. And got lots of promises in the Bible, you know, about healing. Um, but let's face it, uh, we don't always succeed when we endeavor to have faith, right? Uh, right. Um, we, we see failures even within the pages of Scripture. The, one of the major stories of the Old Testament is how Israel failed, the first generation failed to enter into the promised land. They failed to enter because of their unbelief. And you know, there's a story in the Bible one time, the disciples were trying to cast out a demon. They, they couldn't do it. And Jesus said, oh, you know, this this generation, how long am I, I going to be put up with you? You know, he goes and casts the demon out. And later on, the disciples ask, why couldn't we cast it out? He said, because of the littleness of your faith. If you had faith like a mustard seed, you could, you know, speak to a mountain. And, you know, Peter was walking on the water one time, you know, walking by faith, literally. But then he looked at the wind and the waves, began to doubt. And then he began to sink. You know, so, so the, <laughs> that's part of it too, all right? And probably if... Uh, you're a normal Christian, you've probably failed uh, at least once or twice in endeavoring to have faith, but, you know, for some reason you just didn't, didn't succeed. All right, well, that's not reason to condemn yourself or just give up, right? You know, I didn't learn how to ride a bike the first day I got on it. I fell quite a few times. I didn't learn how to walk the first day I tried it, you know. It took me uh, probably longer than usual. To, to figure it all out, you know? And so why do we give up just because we make a mistake? And God is so, so gracious. I think there's a verse in the Bible that says, you know, the righteous man falls seven times, but you know, God lifts him back up. So, so there you have it. So, um, you know, is it wrong then to pray to God, Lord, use this doctor. I, I've got this sickness, I've got the disease, use this doctor. Or Lord, I need this surgery and, and I'm having a hard time trusting you to heal me, you know, but, but I, I believe I can, I can have faith that you're going to heal me by means of this operation that I'm going to have or this medication that, that I'm going to take. So is that, you know, offensive to God? Well, I'm here to tell you that I don't think it is offensive to God. I think God is a lot gooder than a lot of theologians understand, much more gracious than a lot of people give him credit for. I mean, you know, someone who dies for you, right? gives up their life in an, by means of an excruciating, torturous death, Jesus on the cross, that's a lot of love. And, and, and you know, that, that, that's a very, obviously going to be a very tolerant person. So God is extremely tolerant. And, and um, although, you know, it might be better to just avoid the doctors and the medication and the surgery and go straight to God and get a healing, you know, a, something quick or something gradual, whatever, you know, that would be great. But not everybody has that level of faith. And I'm certainly not going to be the one to cast the first stone, 
you know, and you shouldn't be either, right? So, so God, you know, he, he'll, he'll meet you at your level of faith. And it's obvious that sometimes things require greater faith than other things, right? Yeah, I'd say it takes greater faith to believe God going to heal you directly than that God's going to help the doctor or bring you through something successfully or something, you know? So, so, so uh, yes, you can. I know, I know people that have done that. They've prayed with confidence. Now, again, there's a difference between hope and faith. <laughs> hope always hopes. It always leaves room for the possibility that what you want, you may not get. But faith, the Bible says, is the assurance of things hoped for. So faith and hope are different in that regard. Hope, maybe. Faith, absolutely. So be it done to you according to your faith, Jesus said to some blind guys one time. Let's read, let's read from the Bible. I pulled this up from Matthew chapter 9 and verse 27. We're starting, as Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying out, have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came up to him. Now, that that's shows something about their faith, doesn't it? I mean, how, how do you find Jesus if you're blind? You, you, you're going to need help. You're going to have to have someone that you're encouraging. Hey, no, no, I'm not giving up. I want to get to where Jesus, take me to where he's at. They, they were determined. So that shows some faith. The faith doesn't quit. When he entered the house, the blind man came up to him and Jesus said to them, do you believe that I am able to do this? Obviously, that was important to Jesus. Now, I didn't write the Bible, and I'm not Jesus, so don't get mad at me, <laughs> okay? But for Jesus, this was important. It was, a, it was a prerequisite. It was a requirement. If they were going to be healed, they had to believe, at least that he was able to do this. So, uh, you know, we know the end of the story. He healed him, so it was obviously his will for them to be healed. But you realize they wouldn't have been healed if they wouldn't have met the condition. If they wouldn't have believed, if they'd have said, no, we don't believe, Lord, that'd have been the end right there. Do you believe that I'm able to do this? They said to him. They responded, yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes saying, it shall be done to you, now listen to this, according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. <clears throat> All right, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, so this is the message that I think applies to the question that we're trying to answer on today's little lesson. Um, be it done to you according to your faith. If you can trust God that he'll bring you through that surgery or that operation successfully and that you'll heal up quickly, God will do it for you. He's that good. And Or if it's taking a medication and they say, well, we're not sure this medication is going to work on you or not. Well, Pray and say, Lord, I want this medication to work on me, <laughs> you know, and I have faith. And so therefore I take it in faith and I'll be praising and thanking you as I take it, after I take it and all day long, because I believe, Lord, that, you know, you've heard and answered my prayer. That's faith. Be it done to you according to your faith. And again, don't get mad at me. Don't write nasty comments here below this video and say, oh, you're just one of those guys. I didn't write the Bible. I'm just the messenger here. <laughs> okay, I'm just reading from the Bible. And uh, I'm not God. All right, so without faith, it's impossible to please God. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to look into something that's way cool, go to Heaven's Family. That's the word heaven, the letter S, the word family, dot O-R-G. And that's the ministry that I uh, direct on the side here. And uh, you'll see there's lots of opportunities for you to get involved in wonderful things that are happening all over the world. Okay, till next time, God bless you.